and I'm an independent MLA for East Belfast. Dawn, what do you think is the biggest challenge currently facing education in Northern Ireland? Probably the budget and the fact that we have somewhere in the region of 60,000 empty school desks. Um, and I think there is a challenge to rationalise the, the whole education system and, and look at where we can save money and where we need to invest that money that's been saved. And what would be your opinion? Where do you think you would allocate and save the money? Well, I'm an advocate of one education system and I, I think that needs to be uh, an integrated education system. Uh, so we need to look at the whole of Northern Ireland. We need to look at the number of, of pupils, the predicted number of pupils, um, the vision that we need for education in Northern Ireland that uh, serves every child and not just um, different sections of children, and design the system accordingly. What about funding for schools? I mean, some suggestion that perhaps public funding should be dependent on them showing that they're demonstrably welcoming to children of all faiths and none to every child, as you say. Do you think um, that maybe making it, making funding dependent on such an ethos would be a helpful move? Yes, I would, I would be in favour of that. I would also be in favour of uh, rewarding schools who had socially balanced intakes um, uh, because it's been proven time and again that where there is a, a socially balanced mix in the school, children tend to do much better. So I think we need to look at that diversity and we need to reward that diversity and, and schools and, and school leaders, educational leaders, that are moving in that direction. How, how would schools ensure diversity in terms of things like a social mix? Well, they, by their intake and their numbers, they, they need to look at how they select their pupils. Um, they, I think we need to look at um, geographical areas. Um, because we have a number of, if you look at one geographical area that I can think of, and you have four different types of schools in that one area, is there a need for four different types of schools? Or is there a need for one large school with all the resources from the four invested in it? I would say there's a need for one large school. Beyond the economic and educational arguments, how big a contribution do you think shared and integrated education can make to a more peaceful and cohesive society? Well, you start off from the premise of what type of society do I want to live in? They want a peaceful, stable society where we are tolerant and more than tolerant, where we learn to respect each other and we uh, celebrate each other's culture and diversity. And of course, shared and integrated education plays a big, big role in that. I don't think we have enough shared and integrated education. Uh, I think that there are too many sectoral interests looking out for themselves rather than thinking what is the, the type of education system that we need, what is the best for for all of our children in Northern Ireland and more importantly um, their future and the, the country's future. So I would like to see more shared and integrated education. Do you think that if a school is in receipt of public money, can it have a single faith ethos or do you think that funding should be dependent on it, demonstrating that it's welcoming to pupils of all faiths and none? Well I'm a secularist, I believe in the separation of church and state and I don't believe that churches should have any influence in the education of our children. I think if churches want um, children educated in a particular faith, then they should fund that education themselves, or they should do it in Sunday school um, or other schools, which is which is what it is for. I don't believe that the, the state should fund um, single faith schools, uh, and uh, you know, this, I think the sooner we move towards that, where uh, religious education is taught in a class of world religions rather than religious instruction. Is, is probably where I would like us to, to be in the future. But I, um, I would love to get to the stage where it is churches that are, are funding schools independently and separate from, from the state. But we know that religion has very much been tied up with Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland governments and successive governments. And uh, I think we're a, a long way from that. And I do believe that the shared and integrated sector can help us to get there. As we approach the Assembly elections, how important will it be in your campaign that a majority of parents here have said they'd like to see more integrated schools? Well, I have a different type of election that I'm fighting this time around. It's going to be very localised. It's going to be concentrated in East Belfast. Um, and education is something that I'm uh, very interested in, certainly in East Belfast, because of the levels of educational underachievement. So that will probably be the main focus of my campaign. Um, certainly I'm a, in favour of shared and integrated education. If I do develop a manifesto, it will certainly be in there. 
Ms. Fackley, can I ask you what's your strongest memory from your own school days? Oh gosh. Um, probably the role that the school played in the community, um, a primary school I'm talking about. Um, uh, the after school activities, we actually stayed in school. School was open during the summer for summer schemes. We did crafts, we did art. Um, uh, so the school was really a hub of the community um, that attracted us. It was also a haven because where I lived in inner city Belfast and I still live in the same place, um, it was often marred by violence and being sent to school um, was really a, a safe haven away from, from the troubles that, that was going on. And I really, really enjoyed um, my time at primary school. Thank you very much.